Hey guys, it's Epic, and I'm just outside enjoying this beautiful weather. Hiking season is upon us, and it's starting to warm up in a lot of places. We want everybody to be safe out there this season, so I want to go over five backpacking tips for hiking in warm weather. Okay, so number one is hydrate. That should be the obvious one. When you get out on the trail in warm weather, you wanna make sure that you keep plenty of water in your system. It's also a good idea to make sure that you plan where the water sources are along the trail before you go out, especially you long distance hikers. As far as knowing how much water to carry is concerned, my general rule is that I wanna carry one liter of water for every five miles that I hike. If you're gonna be out hiking for multiple days, make sure you carry a 0.1 micron filter. You're gonna need that to get out bacteria and protozoa so your water is safe to drink. It's also a good idea to camel up at the water source. Try to sit there and see if you can drink a liter of water before you fill your bottles and take off down the trail. Number two, bring electrolytes. While hydration is great, it's not enough by itself. Not only are you sweating out water, but you're also sweating out important minerals that your body needs to function properly. You wanna avoid electrolyte imbalances like hyponatremia. Hyponatremia is a condition caused by an excess of water in your system in comparison to the electrolytes. So it's a good idea to make sure you put those back in your body in addition to the water. Not all electrolytes are created equally. Make sure you focus on ones that have plenty of sodium, potassium, and magnesium. I prefer Element, that's the one that I like to use on the trail, but there are other ones that are good as well. Number three, make sure that you're wearing a loose-fitting, moisture-wicking base layer. Merino wool is great, alpaca is even better. These are naturally odor-resistant and they're very comfortable. However, they are more expensive and they lack some durability. I definitely have some holes in all of my merino wool. A less expensive, more durable option is a synthetic base layer that's made out of nylon and polyester. These are definitely cheaper. It won't cost you as much money, especially if you're on a budget getting out on trail. However, you should know that it's harder to get older out of these shirts. They like to weave them with things like microbial silver and stuff like that, but I haven't really found that this works. Even after you get them out of the washing machine a couple of times, you're gonna notice some lingering odor. All right, guys, number four is make sure that you bring sunscreen. The American Cancer Society actually recommends an SPF of at least 30. I've discovered that up in higher elevations, I need an SPF of at least 15. I remember one particular hike on the Pacific Northwest Trail where I deliberately didn't put on sunscreen and my ears cooked really badly to the point where they split open and scabbed over. Ever since I've been putting sunscreen on all of my exposed areas in my body and haven't had a problem with that since. If you don't want to use as much sunscreen, a sun hoodie is another good option. It'll cover your arms up pretty good. You can also put it up over your head and then you only have to use sunscreen on your exposed areas. Tip number five, I would never recommend wearing cotton clothing on the trail even in the summertime unless you enjoy chafe but I do think it's a good idea to bring a cotton bandana or a cotton shemog. I have so many uses for my shemog I carry it all the time on trail. If you haven't seen my video on all the uses I have for a shemog check out this video right here. These make excellent sweat rags you can also put them over exposed areas on your skin and the sweat evaporating off of them actually acts as a natural air conditioner. You can also dip them in a river or a stream to get the same kind of effect. Well, that's all I have for you today, guys. Drop me a comment down below and tell me what your tips for summer backpacking are. If you like what we do, be sure to like and subscribe and hit that bell icon so you know when we make future content. You can also check us out on Instagram, support us on Patreon, and go look at our new website for hiking articles and gear recommendations. Now get off your butts and go play outside.